Hey, what's going on, everybody? Pro Trader Mike, founder of the Mojo Day Trading, gonna give you a great lunchtime recap. Got some Panera bread being delivered by by the action. Got a free delivery. You can do capital, all capitals, free delivery, and get that free delivery over fifteen dollars today. Beautiful, <clears throat> amazing. Let's head over to the Mojo Room. Say hello to the team on this amazing day of Wednesday, June 10th at 12.30 p.m. in the afternoon. We amazingly did great today in the first 15 minutes of trading. Let me show you what went on in the mojo room right here. First trade of the day, DPW, DPW, Mara, and Bang Bang. So let me show you what went on today. You open up a notepad. So we have a thousand, we have a, let me just copy this, this would be the easiest. So let me just copy this and paste it right here. And then I'm gonna copy this and this right there at 921. And then this right here, we're gonna add at 923. Uh, GNUS for five. Definitely doing that one. Uh, let's and Chris right here, the first one for two. Gotta love that one. All right, guys. So here's the trades uh, that we nailed right here for the day. So we have uh, CGC, PSTV, INO, UVXY. Right here. So let's see what we did on these babies today. PSTV for three. High 355. Right off the open right there. Ooh, let's go back. There's the uh, 355 on the open right here. That's what the trade we did on PSTV. So that went from three to 355. So if you had a thousand shares, You made you two hundred and fifty dollars, and you didn't lose more than a hundred to two hundred. So you're not going to make the whole five hundred and fifty. Let's be serious. Uh, CGC for an eighteen move today. High eighteen twenty eight off the open. So the CGC went eighteen twenty eight. And on 500 shares, you made uh, 50 bucks. No harm, no foul on that one. INO at 13. High 13.63. So this one, you can have a thousand shares of. So this one right here also. This one went to 1363. Thousand shares, you made 250 there easy. Let's say you made 300 because it just went higher than the other one. Uh, UVXY through 31 are earlier this morning. UVXY, uh, 3174 on the blast through on UV. Went to 3174, so on 500 shares, you made 150 bucks. Easy. And TVIX, 125, 126, and 127 earlier this morning. Well, UV did the same thing. Now let's go to the actual trades uh, that we actually had called out. At 930 GNUS for five. So GNUS at five. 
let's see where it went to. Right here, uh, high 580. 580. So it went from five to 580. You had a thousand shares. You made 300 bucks. Easy on that, even though it went up 80 cents. Let's just say you made $300 on it. That's all you need. You just don't lose more than 100 to 200. You don't need to catch the ultimate top and the bottom on it. A Mara through a dollar. If it touches 11, we're off to the races. So Mara through a dollar, where'd it go to? I know I sold at 119. It's 108 right now. Went to high of 124 on Mara. So Mara went from there to 124. And let's say you had 2,000 shares of that one because it was tiny. And you made 10 cents. You made $200 there on Mara. Even though it went 20 cents, you made $400. I'm only cutting it in half. That's all you need is 50 cents. 50% of the move, 50% of the move. Uh, then back to the room, what did we trade? We traded DPW at 450. So DPW was the next move at 450. DPW, 450, where did it go to? And you would have had 1,000 or 2,000 shares of that one. Uh, DPW went to 655, it was the big, big winner of the day. So DPW went to 655. Let's say you had a thousand shares of that one, right? Thousand shares. It went 450, 550, 650. Let's say you only caught one of them, you made a thousand dollars instead of 2,000. 50 percent of that move. 50 percent of that move. Then the next one uh, was GNUS. We did that one. Uh, uh, Lake at 2177. So we did Lake, right here, Lake, L-A-K-E, 21.77. Where did it go to? Let's see. Uh, Lake went to 23.99, 23.99, almost 24 from 22, two points. Let's say you had 500 shares on two points. It's $1,000, so cut it in half. You made 500 on, on Lake. What was the next one? We added Lake too, beautiful Lake. Uh, PSTV, DPW ripping, DPW ripping. Uh, then CRRS through three, right there at 11.58. We took an hour and a half to make the next trade on CIRS at three bucks. Chris, and that one you would add 2,000 shares because it was an easy Heinz and the price was right for three bucks. And where did Chris go to? Chris just went to 359 straight through. And you could see right here was the buy and the straight up rip. That was the trade, 59 cents. So it went from three to 359. Let's say, you know, you had 2,000 shares of that because that's nice. And it made a 60 cent move is $1,200. You made 600. So adding these all together, for the day in the Mojo Day Trade Room. You made 600 plus 500 plus 1,000 plus another 500 plus 450, 500 plus 750. Your total for the day just trading 500 or 1,000 shares is $3,350. Picks are amazing in the Mojo Day Trade Room. So this is what we traded today. Right there. PST, CGC, UVXY, TVIX with it, beautiful. GNUS, Mara, DPW, Lake and Chris.
Nice day today. It's so hot out to play golf, you know what I mean? You can only play nine holes. So we made a couple of amazing also trades. Tesla in the room from 945 to $1,000 plus a share. I Heinz it through 1,000, went right to 1,011, and then touched 19. 1,011 went right to 19. It's now 1,000. It's up 77 points right now. Tesla is. TSLA right here. Tesla made a beautiful move today. So let me show you what's going on with my swings. Here's the model portfolio. Nah, I'm not doing no hertz action. What you'd be looking at right now, look at my swing picks, man. Let's go over them. So you have a couple right here. Crone is 755 today. We have the June 7. Oh, we have the 8. Oh, it expires then. It expires on June 17th. So this is the the June 8 call. Spires. On 619. Same as the other ones. <clears throat> Got 40 cents. 75 cents. And a dollar 20. 16.55, 5.3, and 7.87. Now here's the picks for the mojo that have gone out in the last quarter. Let's go over them today and see the highs and the lows and adjust the stops. So NXTD, they make fingerprint technology, biometric technology. And I'm going to come up here on my Twitter and show you what I posted yesterday. I posted two of the newsletters on my Twitter yesterday. Started here. T E at T E U M. Uh, next one is Parcel Pay Technologies. They do concierge and delivery services due to the Corona situation. And that stock's up 50%, was up 100%. Low 8, high 10. Low 46 on NXTD, high 55. Box, they do cloud-based for businesses. 950, it's 1934, up 103%. Stops at 1909. ABM Industries, they do street cleaning and cleaning machines for governments and cities due to the coronavirus at 2750. These are all corona stocks. ABM 2750 is 3420, been as high as 3550, low 3409. US Foods at 13 is 2143. Been as high as 2298 and 2104. OBCI Ocean Biochem. They do cleaning products for the marine industry. No brainer. All on the 16th due to the COVID. 375, it's 591. Been as high as 595 today. Low 568. Raise up the stop to the low. Teva at 650. I started mentioning hydrocloxychloroquine before Trump did because I researched it and Teva Pharmaceuticals made Plaquenol. 
and I bought that and picked it in my swing newsletter at 650 is 1223 up 88% low today 1209 next one B fam bright family horizons is an education company for kids online I knew everyone would be home and they would have to have online education Stock at $79 is now 128. Been as high as 130, low 125.15 today. Missed milestone. This was the next newsletter on the 26th. Uh, missed at $1.99 is 487. Been as high as 520, up 144% today. Low 460. My food's here. So my Panera's here. I'm gonna go eat. You guys hang out and watch the market. And when I come back, we'll go through the rest of the picks. I like Lake through Heinz 20 right here. Lake, L-A-K-E guys. I like uh, G-N-U-S, Heinz 5. Risk of Nickel. And reprice. I like Riot Heinz three. Now two eighty, so that could make a big move. It's a eighty five, ninety, ninety five, ninety seven plus five buys. That's why Ross does all those buys and shit like I do. Scaling up. Everyone copies the moach. Everyone copies the moach. So guys, enjoy. I'll be back and uh, watch the market.
Mojo's back. Nice. Had some Panera. What happened when I was gone? I <clears throat> had a little soup and a little sandwich. What happened when I was gone? Anything moved? Nah. Nothing moved. Nothing moved. Everything the thing. Everything's the same. Everything's the same. Yeah, it hasn't moved. Lake is 19. What is it for the move of 20? It hasn't moved yet. Normal fluctuations are a dime and stuff. Mm, patience, man. Place in your stop. Be, and, and be all good. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. We hit so good this morning. It's crazy. Swings are out of swings are out of control. So continuing with the swing bang right here. Yeah, small, nothing big, nothing big, real small. No, I didn't. I'm, I left it on. Yeah, I left the mic on so you can listen to the music. My son downstairs eating. I made a video. You want to see the funniest thing? Listen. He's just like that guy on the, um, let me see, here he is. Listen. Yes, is why they make you knock out. God. God. Can you please just stop? I'm going to knock you out. They, what they do is they, you want to know what happens? No, I know what happens, Dad. What? Mom. What happens? Can you tell Dad he's like so annoying? What happens? God, stop. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I didn't know. That's crazy, right? So let's go through the rest of these picks, and I'll tell you what the companies do. And I'll show you how right here started banging them out. So Teva was that one. Bright Horizons is the uh, education. Milestone Pharmaceuticals did great yesterday from $1.99 up 138% to $5.20. Closed at 460. Aura Shore Technologies also involved with drugs for the COVID at 725 is 1069. Been to 1180 today, low 1053. One Life Healthcare, they're involved with homes, <clears throat> senior living, and all kinds of healthcare organizations and homes. Picked at 1895 is 3280, up 73%. High 33 today, low 3204, raising from 31 to 3204. X1, XONE, 615 is 962, up 56% at 985. They do connectivity <clears throat> for networking, for at home. Also had Logic, Logitech, the, the mouse and keyboard company. Uh, materialize at 1473 is 28 up 91 percent into 2874 low 2761 so we raise that from 2650 to 2761 raise that to 932 uh, next one is organavo holdings at 29 cents is 65 up 124 percent low 65 today yesterday was 63 raising that up Stratasys, SSYS at 1562 is 1811. And the low 1783 today. Up 15%. Triple D, 3D printing company, my number one printing company at 775. Went to 815 today. Last is 772. Put it at 774. Proto Labs at 76 is 118. Touched 11 today. Went to 119. Low 11580. From 117.84. IO Geo Physical at $1.65 at 305, up 84%, low 280 today. Down a little bit. Rose at 37, oh, they all just changed at 73, 97%, low 54. 
Uh, that's just the high and the low for today. It doesn't really make a difference. U.S. I'm just marking them, just what I'm watching. U.S.O. The oil at 490 is 2380, low 2772 today. High 28.46. Apache oil at 450 is 15, up 239%. When the oil dip, Mojo went, out, went in on April 2nd on those two picks. The low today is 14.51. ADT to protect your home. Knew that one would do good. Saw so security involvement protecting your home during the riots and the corona. Everyone at home at 8.56, up 111%. Low 838 today. <clears throat> Energy transfer at 565, 866 up 53 percent. 853. Picks are pretty amazing. Be in the Mojo Swing Trade newsletter. 27 cents on GTE went to 53. Low 44 today up 77 percent. Tell up 48 percent. In Seago at 685 is 1017, 992. <clears throat> been as high as 1022. Sundance Energy with dollar 98 at 370. Been as high as 424 today. Cars.com at 350. Knew everyone wouldn't be going to the car dealership on April 2nd when that the coronavirus quarantine came. These are all the quarantine picks. S uh, cars at 350 is 726. Genesis at 340 is $6. Here's the Paratium at 38 cents. Been as high as $1.15 today. There you go. It was 58 cents yesterday. We'll put it at 90. Amazing. Up 139% on that one now. AWRE. 280 to 357, high 357. Sonom at 85 is 97 at high is the dollar, went to a dollar eight today. Clear one, 175, went to 260 today. My size, at uh, we have my size at 95 cents. We don't have it at uh, dollar 55, we have it at 95 cents. We're up 31. 0.58 Groupon at 80 cents. They were both for the dollar. Is a dollar 44. Been to a 62. Office Depot is doing great at 260. High of 74 today. All in the April 2nd newsletter. INSG 685 is 10. I already have that one right here. Here's the car. They were just repeats. All right, here's the six newsletter, NNVC at five. That was a big winner already. Went to like 17, is 689. Rambles up 452% from two to 11. YRCW up 21. DVAX up 89. Gen up 23. TTPH up 116. Here's Bitcoin, up 51, up 28, 24, 44, 65, 34, 40, 50, down 5. There's one. Isn't it amazing, these picks that came out in the Swing Trade newsletter? Everybody, live person, knew your website would get a lot of action. That stock would go up. Everything I know about all these stocks happened. Uh, all COVID, COVID related. Ogen, Vapotherm, Nanostring, Moderna, Inogen, and ADMP. Here's the next week was on the 13th trucking companies i knew they would have to they wouldn't stop trucks would continue to go and the trucking industry would be good usa truck at 390 is 793 usx trucks from 370 to 584 
the Secchi trucks from a dollar thirty to three seventeen. Low three oh three today. Westport fuel, they supply the fuel for the trucks, eighty cents to a dollar forty. Eagle bulk shipping over the water transportation with ship as well. A dollar eighty to two fifty seven. I'm very industry related. <clears throat> Uh, Freight Car America, which is rails, the railroad, the transportation on the railroad from $1.10 to 58 been to 74 today. Sino Global Shipping, up a dime. Commercial Vehicle Group supplies OEM equipment parts to trucks and everything like that. Uh, then you have the next week, we got into the internet and internet retail companies that would benefit from people staying at home from the corona. Excella at 20 cents, 57, up 185. Sequential Brands at 18, 37, up 105. Uh, Light Path at 215 to 350, up 60. Polarite, up 20. GNC up 100%. I still think they're going to close all the stores and make that announcement, just like Office Depot. Casa up just 1%. Rignet from 105 to 250. BioKey, there it is. <clears throat> in it again. Uh, TEUM, there it is. In it again. Uh, we have those a couple of times. Cobar, we made good on that one, but it's down right now on the other part of it. HSDT, there's GNC. Copied it. Let me delete it. We played GNC a couple of times. Actually, that was a pick the following week. Solo right there. Gannett up 120. Down on you guys right now at 16. This is on the 511 newsletter. Here they are. TEUM, 51 cents. Here's the chart on that one. The next one. I posted was Light Path, which we're going over right now, 207. CLRO, there's the chart on that one at $1.77. Rignet at $1.14, which is $3.70 right now. Scone at $0.20 cents is up 100%. BKYI up 100%. ADT up huge, GNC, SHIP, Excella. <clears throat> this is something interesting. This is a PowerPoint that was taken from Goldman Sachs that got disseminated and leaked and what they're recommending to clients right now and customers. Think about it. Why would Goldman Sachs not recommend Bitcoin? The Great Bitcoin Trust has 1 million Bitcoin. Okay? The val the, there's tremendous value there. Tremendous value. We know that because it's on the blockchain. And whenever you buy it, we could see the whales come in. Now, Goldman Sachs doesn't own a lot of Bitcoin right now. Because a lot of the customers still hanging around, not under the high. It's not a great growth, not great, not asset, not hasn't gone up like the market six days in a row. And you know, it's less adopted, less believable. So what they're doing is they're accumulating it slowly but surely, building an inventory of it at 10,000, 20,000, 30,000. Could you, and they only came out with this because the amount of traffic and people inquiring about Bitcoin has dramatically risen at Merrill Lynch and Goldman Sachs and all these large companies, large brokers. And they don't want their customers to invest in Bitcoin because they don't have enough of it yet. They're money motivated. They have to have inventory in order to sell and recommend 
to the uh, particular customer, just like when a stock is a buy, a sell, and a hold. When a stock is a sell, they can you can't get on the phone with a customer as a broker with Goldman Sachs and say, buy this particular stock. It's on the sell list. It used to be on the buy list. And then it went to hold. Now it's sell. So we can't recommend it to you. Even though you like it, we can't. Because the firm's accumulating it in the bad zone. And once it stabilizes, because they know the company, they do their little turnaround, they supply them with financing. Six months later, a year later, they're very patient. More patient than the retail customers are in the, in the, in the world. It's going to turn around and they're going to raise it from sell to hold or sell to buy. Well, now they accumulated it all at 10000 It's 30 Well, go ahead and buy it. I have it at 10 I'll make 20000 a coin off you. I'll sell you mine. You won't affect the market. No selling going in because I'm selling you from my inventory. And then I can control you because I see where all your coins are. So within time... This is all bullshit, which I'm speaking to you about right now. Cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin, are not an asset class. Well, it kind of is an asset class. You know what I'm saying? People say there's value to it, just like gold's an asset class. Because people say, hey, gold, that little thing you can't send to anyone else, that coin you got, that's worth something. It doesn't generate cash flow like bonds. Bonds is like a CD. Yeah, go ahead and buy a CD or a bond. It, that doesn't make you any money. With inflation, bonds don't make you no money. And the way that the economies are and riots, and I wouldn't be doing no bonds. Bonds are low percentage uh, returns. Bonds aren't going to grow. Your bond's not going to go from 10000 to to 100000 And you're not going to grow 1,000% on your bonds. So, Bonds don't generate growth. <clears throat> coins do. I could show you 10 coins right now that are up in the last week that you don't even know about. Go to Coinbase. Go to Tradable Assets. And look up top gainers and look up this stock right now kyber that one week ago kyber was 60 cents it's up 83 percent in a week there's four other coins that are just like that you don't even know about them and then everyone's gonna want it <coughs> So there's growth big time. And as far as the risk reward, the upside they're talking is 100,000. It's only at 9. It's been down to 5 and 3 back up. So the buy, every time it dips, they buy it, it goes right back. So the downside risk is low and the upside reward is large. Common sense, math and school 101. I'm just talking to you about school 101 right now. Doesn't generate any earnings through exposure to economic global growth. Well, you're wrong. It generates, and you have a mistake in your PowerPoint. You missed a little, uh, there's too many. See how close it is here on the G? And here it's the double, so you made a mistake. On your PowerPoint, Goldman Sachs. That ain't pretty good. That ain't good. See how I noticed that? Notice that. All right, let's see what we got. So, the rebuttal against they don't generate any earnings through economic growth, they do. They generate adoption through exposure to economic growth. Stocks generate earnings. Coins generate adoption. 
Get your story straight, Goldman Sachs. I mean, it's so damn obvious. Don't provide consistent diversification benefits given their unstable correlations. Well, what's balancing the stability against the U.S. dollar? Let's do a vote. I'd love to see the comments below and in the mojo room. Let's do a, a poll, shall we? Let's do a vote. Do you think with the unstable correlations that the government just issued another trillion dollars to the help people out for the COVID and they issued four trillion dollars to businesses to help them out? Here, let me just print more money. We'll just go into more debt. And everyone hates us, all the other foreign countries. And I'll print more dollar bills for you. I heard all the other foreign countries are not using dollar bills to protest against the United States. What if that happens? We're the only ones that use dollar bills. You can't go anywhere and pay with a dollar bill. They don't accept it. You have to use digital currency. So... The unstable correlation with the banking system, the U.S. dollar, would you in the poll, here's the poll, would you give away your Bitcoin to help out everybody else? You already pay your taxes. Would the government give away Bitcoin to help everybody? There's only a limited supply. You can't make more of it. It's very valuable. The more people have of it, and the more time goes by, that's it. There's no more Bitcoin. There's other coins that are worth value then, big time. So the unstable correlation doesn't mesh with me. I, I rebuttal that. I'm not giving away no Bitcoin to help everybody. Either is the government. Bitcoin's very valuable. Oh, here, take some gold. Why don't they just give everyone a bar of gold? Here you go. Go ahead. Why didn't the government, instead of printing money, say, okay, everybody, we've got a huge gold supply. I'm sending everybody a bar of gold. Look in your mailbox. It's a big nugget coming. That didn't happen. They could have done that. So they ain't doing it with Bitcoin. Fourth, they dampen the volatility, given the historical volatility of 76% on a March 12th. Bitcoin fell 30% on one day. Big freaking deal. The market fell 30% in three days in March. The largest drop in U.S. history happened in March in the stock market. And due to the manipulation, and who knows, it's back at highs. Doesn't show evidence of hedging inflation? Dude, you're out of your mind. You skipped, the, you skipped something right there. You had to move this up. Another error. You skipped the space on your PowerPoint. We believe that a security whose appreciation is primarily dependent upon whether someone else is willing to pay a higher price for it is not a suitable investment for our clients. Dude, that's what the stock market's all about. But you buy the stock first. And then... Someone's willing to pay higher for it and you give it to them out of your inventory and you make money on what you bought it for and sold it to them and the fees you charge them to do it with you. You're a highway robber is what you are, Goldman Sachs. Last, again, mistake, bring it up a notch. We also believe that while hedge funds may find trading cryptocurrencies appealing because of their high volatility, that allure does not constitute a viable investment rationale. And they aren't highly volatile. They aren't highly volatile because, look, they haven't even done anything. Let me show you. Here's Dash. Here's Dash, a coin I like, over the last year. It's down 48% at $77. In the last month, it's flatlined straight across. 
I mean, the stock, these coins haven't really done much. And that's all a bunch of bull crap. All a bunch of bull crap. The 525 swing picks, the 6 1 swing picks, one of them today is up huge. Where is it? Right here. AVCT. American Virtual Cloud Technologies. Right here at 655. Sold it. It was up 230%. AVCT. Look at that. It's 410 now. Amazing. Isn't that amazing? Amazing. CTEX up 12. The other ones are down a little. This one's up one. SFET. And when you get to be in the Mojo Swing Trade newsletter over time, you get to know all these little companies. And these are all always the best little companies, man. All always doing something. All always on the move. All, all, all. All always on the trade ideas scanning list one day or another. Every one of them. And they just keep on getting better. It's quite amazing. DPW's 395 may do a Heinz 4 here. I'll take a trade. O2 risk after a two buyer. After a two buyer. Oh look, someone just joined my my mojo. That was a blink. I only get those notifications when someone joins. Kent. I already have a Kent. But I don't got a Gilbert. You can be Pro Trader Gilbert. Welcome, my man. Thank you for joining. Got a new guy that just joined. Kent Gilbert. Best move of you. I'll send you a welcome email. In the welcome email, Kent, will be full instructions to join. Do you have a Gmail? It would be great if you had a Gmail. I can add you to the, to the Google Drive and you can do everything through that Gmail. Because it would be correspond. If not, I, I hook you up with that. You do what you can do it after. But I'll hook you up. Thanks for joining, man. Here it comes on the way. You'll be Pro Trader Gilbert. Because Pro Trader Kent is a master, he's a lifetime trader, master. I'll register you for the swing newsletter too. Done. Added you to the swing newsletter. Thanks for joining. Bang, bang. Kent. I'm adding you to the uh, Google Drive and then the Mojo Day Trade Room. He should be in here in a couple minutes. Chris May Hines, three. Riot, here it goes. Adding. Adding. Added. Oh, yeah. Doesn't get better than this, folks. Always live making chank, chank big dollars. Oh, yeah. Bink. There it is. Three bucks. Oh, yeah. Beauty sold. Beauty three fourteen selling. 
Come on, baby. Sold 314. 6,000 left. Beauty. Beauty, 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 beauty. Beauty, great trade. Amazing we are. Ah, oh, yes. Great trade. Hope you got that, Batman. Not in that stupid lake. Drowning in the lake. Amazing. Amazing what people put out, the shit that people put out. I'm getting sick of it. I have to unsubscribe to, from everyone. Look, Patrick Weiland changes his damn strategy every day. Hurts bankrupt, delisting price. I mean, this, he's out of control. I, I mean, just ridiculous. I got um, who else today? Crazy emails from people I can't take no more. Uh, Timothy Sykes, level up. Here's how to level up your trading game. I mean, he's a hero because every day just stocks are going nuts. You're finally making money in the market like every other retail trader, and he thinks he's like a hero now. For the first time in years, dude, he's doing this. It's most, utterly ridiculous. Uh, then you got this guy right here. Ask yourself how many times this has happened to you. Platform crashed and he makes $44,000. Ask yourself, dude. One, he's the owner of the firm. Two, he owns the platform and the bank. Ask yourself as a trader, you know, yeah, you don't have, you're in that situation. But ask yourself, you're in that situation, a thousand traders out there, listen and ask yourself, the last time you had a platform malfunction, did you ever win or make it go in your favor? Ever? If so, if the answer is no, you know where you need to come trade, Mojo Day Trading. If the answer is yes, go trade with me Air at TradeNet and have the platform go down. So when it wakes up on you and he calls you back in the room, you'll be up a ton of cash. Instead of having your account blown up and then what are you going to do? He ain't going to give you no money back. He ain't going to give you no Zala's back. He ain't going to give you no dollars back. Oh, dude, and the Ross with the code of conduct. The Ross traded DPW this morning and threw it up on our first bounce. But the stocks he traded yesterday, he made $100,000 in one day. More money than he's ever made in his entire life. He used to make that in a year if he was lucky in his old job. That's a business. He needs to, I would have been like, do you see? Crazy would have been my most exciting day. He was live in front of 5,000 people. And he was kind of like upset, not even like kind of excited, not even jumping out of his seat, going crazy, congratulating everybody. None of that happened. He just kept on adding on his profits doing trades. Why? Why in the amount of human nature would somebody do that? He couldn't shut it off. He was live. He was already lost in the beginning of the morning and made it back because we saw him lose on yesterday's show. So I was thinking about it, and it tells me a couple of things. One, that he's so pissed off that his account wasn't live. He said he had taken out money, and that was the first day it was live, and it was 50000 yeah, it probably wasn't live yet. It was probably a demo. And when you make $100,000 trading a couple thousand shares in your demo and everything, it just keeps on. It's easy to make money in the demo. 
It's so easy. That's why he had a record day. Think about it, guys. The trade demo and out there versus trading real. If you had a sick account, you could make a lot of money in your demo. The fees don't add up. Nothing adds up. Right? So if it was a demo and you made 100000 you wouldn't be so excited. You'd be, okay, here's another trade. Oh, another trade. Oh, bats going up, going down. Dude, I'd be freaking out. I wouldn't have a shirt on after 50000 I'd be like half naked at 100000 Be sweating so damn much, freaking out so damn much, congratulating everybody so damn much. That's what people would be doing, especially someone in my position as a room moderator. So, it wasn't real. And he did it live. His whole room already lost. And couldn't participate in that trading that he kept on doing all day. I'd be pissed. No one to congratulate. Makes sense. Or, or he's calling him out so fast, he's just front running the crap out of the room all day long. And he's made $100,000 front running the room while everyone's losing. So he can't get that excited while the whole room's losing. Makes sense, right? What if I was up a hundred grand and the whole room was losing an eye and I kept on going, dude? I wouldn't be too happy. So it's a bunch of bull. It's a bunch of bull. It's got to be. It's got to be. And I figured it out. And that's what I'm saying. Hey, and if it ain't and you made a hundred grand, congratulations. Congratulations. I'd make a million tomorrow. Yeah, it makes sense. I told you, right? I'll make a million tomorrow. You want to see me make a million? I'll get the Dosh Trader demo with a hundred grand because they have the contest coming out, the best trader contest. And I can't be in it because I'm an educator. And boom, right there, dudes. I'll make a hundred thousand in a day. I go to the most volatile stock there is. With the biggest moves and the biggest spreads, like this one. He traded this one yesterday, Duo. It's 18 by 1970. <clears throat> it's always a two-point spread in it. How can I recommend with the code of honor and the code of responsibility, how can I recommend you buy that in, in the room? Or tell anyone out there trading to buy that. You got to be a master bidder and asker and buying on the bid, selling on the ask. Buying on the bid, saying go buy it, and as soon as it buys, you're selling it to everyone on the ask. Mastery, dude. Long and short on that. And then the other one was this LTRPB at 62 by 64.20 with a $2 spread. Look what it did yesterday. The stock went from 42 to 90. This was today or yesterday? No, this was today. Um, buh, 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 buh. Yeah, the 10th. I think it did that. Yeah, right here. It did it twice. Look at that. Look at this. It went from here 30 to 80. 30 to 90. 30 point. And then it did it again. It went from 42 to 92. And then back down to 42. And from here, look at this. So, guys, you're losing your account. These are all halts, man. It halts and just down. You're done. This is toast. You got the Thor hammer put down on you, dude. Trading that. This is LTRPB. It's the same as that duo. So that's LTRPB. Here's the duo. Look. Duo halted 90 times on the way up. Went all the way down. Went all the way back up. Went all the way back down. All the way back up. Now destroyed all the way back down to the beginning, dude. 
holy crap. And now they're never going to let it go because they're going to hold it down while everyone's account is lost. Praying, oh, is it going to go back up? Is this one going to go back up? Oh, it has to go back up. It's been to 125. It's at 18 right now. Oh, it's got to go back up. I own it at 100, trying for the break of 100. I'm down 90, 82 points. Oh, it's got to go back up. Never going to go back up. Why would the firm let it go back up? You're on a margin call. You're losing all your money. They'll take it from you. Once you're out and you're finally done and you can't take it anymore and you sell, you're selling it not to the market. You're selling it to the firm. The firm's going to hold the stock because you can't. And then when they have enough in the kittle, let's say $5 million worth of it, then they'll put another $5 million into it and drive up the first green bar. And then the street will say, damn, look at that, look at that, and it's right back up to here. And they just made all the money that you wish you made. Thank you. That's what Wall Street does all day long. Your firm is trading against you. Your firm is. Your moderator in your room is trading against you. The market makers are trading against you. Makes it pretty damn hard to win in the stock market unless you have a great system. Absolutely. A system that's easily copied by everybody else because it works. And that's the Mojo Way, the Mojo Hammer, the Mojo Hines, the Mojo System, the even dollar move. Every room's doing it. Every moderator, that's all he talks about. Every video. It's going through a half dollar. I'm playing the half dollar. Oh, I'm playing the whole dollar. I'm playing the whole dollar. Here it goes. Adding on the whole dollar. Adding on the whole dollar. Oh, selling through now. Selling through now. I mean, it's ridiculous. Every, every room. Every video. Watch them. I do. FOMC press conference. 230. You know what's going to happen? Better get long UVXY, baby. 30 bucks. Right down here. Very, very low risk. Very high reward for an afternoon trade on UV. Yeah, I do. Got some good ones. Absolutely. Hook you up. So that's it today. Great job today. Happy today. Happy out there today. Oh, here's a new guy. Five trading secrets. They don't want me to know these secrets. That's why they're not going to let me in. I'm going to give away this report for free. I have no idea how long I'm going to be able to offer it, but today you can get it for free. I'll send it to you in two seconds. Get this report now. Five trading secrets to win in the market every day. That's nice. Some good secrets. Some good secrets right there. All right, guys. Great day today. Amazing, amazing action. Yesterday, there was a thousand point gain or two of them. Today, stocks are trading out of control. Never seen volume like this in the market before. And I'm wondering, that's the only thing I'm wondering. Why is there volume in Chris of 150,000 when months ago, 14 million would have been the good day on it? Why is it 147 million? I've been seeing this in 25 years of trading. That's what I'm wondering. Where is all the volume suddenly coming from in all these stocks? Hopper, Fly, Bama, Bohan, any of you other pro traders that have years and years of market experience or anybody out there on social media have an educated guess on why these stocks are suddenly trading 
10 to 50 times their average volume and it's not just one stock, it's a lot of stocks and it's happening every day. Why? Where is it all coming from? What's going on? That's what I want to know. I have no idea. Retailers are getting in. They did when Ameritrade went zero commissions, dude. What, because people are at home, all of a sudden there's more traders putting in all this buy? I don't think so. It's not people home on coronavirus. No, I don't think it's a lot more day traders in the market, dude. It's got to be the same from the zero commissions when that spiked all new traders that were new traders came in on that. Not because they're like, uh, I don't know, dude. The volume's unbelievable. Retail can't make volume like that. That's institutional money. You know? What do you, that's crazy. I just don't know. It's a conundrum. <clears throat> It's a conundrum, man. I wish I wish I could know. Millennials are spending their government money with margin. No, people need that money to live, dude. Millennials don't have no money. Who? What millennials you know got money? I don't know any. I never seen any. Millennials don't got no money, dude. Where's its institutional something? What the hell's going on? Where the hell's it coming from? Crazy. I don't know. Yeah, they have student loans. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think it's college kids and students. It's something. Something's moving this big market crazy. We have a new guy in the room. His name's Gilbert. Is he in? Oh, I'd have to add him to the thing. I didn't add him here. I knew I forgot one thing. Now he may come in the room. Let's see what the news is today. Anything glorious out there? Bitmain struggle continues as it ousted its CEO who reports ASIC deliveries. Wow, he no longer ASICs, huh? Why? As McCree forbade shipment of mining devices following his recent takeover. After physically taking over the Beijing office, ousted CEO is reportedly regaining control and blocking the delivery of Bitmain from its factory. According to sources, it issued another order prohibiting employees from shipping products to Bitmain customers. The reason? Unclear. They've obtained legal rep. This is big. because They're like a monopoly on the market. They control all the ASICs and all the Bitmain, all the Bitcoin machines. A statement from... Let me just post this real quick. A statement appears to be a reflection of the long-standing feud who seek to support the company in the past history. In a confrontation between the two, which began in October, when the later proclaimed to have returned at Bitmain's helm to save the ship, it was done in an illegal manner, in a long battle. So the one CEO went out, the new guy came in, there was a brawl to snatch the company's office seal. There was a brawl. A heated confrontation. <laughs> At the, yeah, they probably were doing karate in the office, kicking each other's ass. 
at in the end, Bitmain issued a statement reaffirming the one guy, the new guy's decision, man. Wow. I guess he won the argument, huh? But that's weird, dude. That means the other machines are valuable that out there if they stop doing that. COVID accelerates digital innovation and the breakdown. Yeah, you better ask somebody. It sure does. We are currently living in an unprecedented time. And the, with COVID-19... With COVID-19 taking many precious lives, markets are being decimated and economies are on the brink of depression. Doctors, nurses, shopkeepers, pharmacy workers, and everyone else is on the front lines will go down in history as the heroes of 2020. Although devastating and disruptive COVID is, has it revealed what it can be and achieved in human humanity, individuals, governments, and organizations that work in tandem to find adequate solutions. Stock markets have been hit hard, but they're not. They're at highs. That one time it dropped, it did. Beyond the economic impact, we're witnessing one of the greatest change in social norms and work practices in history with a vast shift towards digital-oriented living. Adoption is the key word right there. Of tap and pay and other digital forms of payment have seen meteoric rise in usage and transmission of the corona through touching pads and existing cash. Individuals and businesses late to the digital payments party are now likely realizing benefits of digital payments and are unlikely to switch back post-crisis. Fintech and blockchain solutions uh, enable contact-free payments with clearer winner. We're also seeing businesses move towards remote working. Beautiful. I love it. I love it. I believe in it a lot. Just a matter of time. I got a lot of coins doing well. Told you they all would. Crypto exchange ranking methods still contested, but there's a lot of exchanges and markets which are great. Gives everybody a choice and no one could be dominating in one area. Bitcoin still outperforms stocks after having. Data published by Cointelegraph. Look into Bitcoin found. Bitcoin remains well positioned as an on-in-chain analysis and Bitcoin's react to global events continue to play the crypto asset strengths. Bitcoin block reward having occurred a month ago and many analysts believe that event failed to produce the strong pre and post having rally investors expected. Despite this, this ongoing event that retail and institutional investors remain focused on accumulating Bitcoin and other currencies, cryptocurrencies. Accumulating Bitcoin at a rate equivalent to 150% of the new coins created by miners since May is happening. So they're accumulating more than it can be out there. It's going to be gone, dude. All of a sudden, bam, up 50%, bam, up 100%. You don't even know it. Coil invests in Hacker Noon to deliver streaming micropayments. Libra continues its path forward and announces new brass. Alabama city plans to pay ransomware group despite warnings. Ooh, what's that? A ransomware gang launched an attack on the information IT in Florence, Alabama in May. The attack came despite warnings by cybersecurity firms about a possible hacker infilt into the city's infrastructure. According to Krebs' report, uh, officials tend to pay $300,000 if paid, the ransom will be covered in Bitcoin. Why don't they just do Monero? The mayor confirmed the hackers had demanded 39 Bitcoin. They reduced the price to 30. With the caveat being that if it does not pay this full amount, the hackers will leak the data. Amazing. Cybersecurity is big. Absolutely. That's a good story, too. Binance trades crypto in China. 4,000 bank accounts. 4,000 Chinese bank accounts reportedly what? 
froze due to crypto connections. What? 4,000 Chinese bank accounts of over-the-counter cryptocurrency traders were frozen by law enforcement. Around 4,000 Chinese bank accounts of crypto have been frozen. According to the report, police froze bank accounts of thousands over-the-counter traders from the Chinese province of Guangdong. It comes as part of a wider investigation into illegal acts such as gambling and money laundering, in which eight BTC states have been commonly facilitated by crypto OTC trading with the stablecoin Tether. Per the report, authorities start freezing the bank accounts on Thursday. One retail member found his bank account after buying crypto on a major credible crypto. Frozen accounts are not going to be involved in. And they can be restored into analysis of no wrongdoing. Local law and purportedly learning by now. Cryptos and cryptocurrency cannot be stopped by authorities. In May, a woman was arrested after selling Bitcoin for she was accused of having run a money laundering since 2017. Interesting. <clears throat> Interesting. Interesting. All right. Chris, DPW, 113 million today. Amazing. Genius, 88 million today. 27 million today, 19 million today, 18 million shares today, amazing, Apple's 351, amazing, this has got to be the top for Apple, it's got to be a short with a UVXY long at 30, UVXY is going through 30 right now guys, see it, 29.99, it just went up through 30. Beautiful. Look what happened to that SPI pick, buddy. I said in the room, I hate those little ones, dude. I told you. Hate them. Confirmed again, that little piece of crap. Done. All right, guys. That's pretty much it. Hold on a second. All right, it's pretty much it. It's slow right now. Went over all the coins. Went over all the and the crypto. Went over all the swings. Went over all the day trading for the day. And that's pretty much what I do every day. I just stay on top of everything. So guys that are out there watching on the social media, I appreciate that. As always, if you're not subscribed, just subscribe to my uh, channel above. And in the corner down there, and uh, two other shows will pop up. You can watch those when I'm done. And I'll see you when I go live, guys. Riot should head back through three, guys. I like that one here. I like DraftKings at 39, 69, 70 to make a move into 40. I like... Nothing else. Apple short at 351.50 and above, and UVXY long at 29.90 for the 30. That's a good way to end it. So peace. I'd say keep it profitable and keep it in the fairway. That's what I like to say now. And I'll see you on the next show, guys. Later. Peace.